Happy Easter, everybody! Hello and welcome to Kids Camp Sunday School. I'm Eden, and we're going to jump right into our memory verse this week. And our memory verse is from John 20, verse 18. I've seen the Lord. What a perfect memory verse for Easter. Easter is the day we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. Everyone thought he was gone forever, but he wasn't. Let's check out our story. Our story today is found in all four of the Gospels, the first four books in the New Testament. We are looking at the version found in the book of John, 20 verse eight, one, verses 1 through 18. We'll see. Early in the morning of the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that a stone had been taken away from the tomb. She ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they've put him. Peter and the other disciple left to go to the tomb. They were running together, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and was the first to arrive at the tomb. Bending down to take a look, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he didn't go in. Following him, Simon Peter entered the tomb and saw the linen cloths lying there. He also saw the face cloth that had been on Jesus' head. It wasn't with the other clothes, but was folded up in its own place. Then the other disciple, the one who arrived at the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They didn't yet understand the scripture that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to the place where they were staying. Mary stood outside near the tomb, crying. As she cried, she bent down to look into the tomb. She saw two angels dressed in white, seated where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head and one at the foot. The angels asked her, Woman, why are you crying? She replied, They've taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they've put him. As soon as she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she replied, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Don't hold on to me, for I have yet gone up to my father. Go to my brothers and sisters and tell them, I am going up to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene left and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Then she told him what he had said to her. This is a story of hope. The empty tomb means that Jesus is still alive and death and sin are defeated. This is what our faith is all about. A Savior who loves us so much that he, he became like us, died in our place, and rose from the dead, hung out, and appeared to be to people for a bit and then he went back to heaven and one day he will be back in the meantime we have an important job we need to share that hope and love with the world around us people need to know that there's hope and love available and is found in jesus your easter challenge is simple share the love and hope of jesus through actions and or words do something kind for someone start a conversation with someone invite a friend to church start Share your favorite Bible verse with them. Let's pray and ask God to find ways to share his hope and love with the world around us. Thank you, God, for the hope and love you give us through Jesus. Help us to share that hope and the love with others. Amen. Enjoy your Easter, guys. That's all for Holy Week this year. Hey, did you guys catch that? That's our month's favorite in there. See you next time. Have a great week. Bye.